Alright, good evening. Um, so yeah, it is Thursday? Yes, it is Thursday today. Normally I would be working on a random drawing. Uh, but I feel like I've got some work to do for Planet Sun. Um, I've got some renderings to make for the weapons that they are going to use in the comic. And I also have to make the car that they are going to drive in the comic. Now for the car I got time, because uh, I don't think it's going to be shown a lot. But I feel like the weapons are going to be used in the next few pages, so I'll have to show those. So it's going to be easier to have them in 3D. So what am I talking about? Uh, these boys. Um, these boys here. I think I used the top one for spears and the modified version of this for uh, Julian. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a 3D render of this one, the top one. I might do one at the bottom in a handheld version. Sort of ish. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for today, the start at least. If work goes fast and I get some shit done in a relatively good speed. Um, I might work a little bit on some other things as well, but for now, I'm gonna try to make the gun. So, let's see, what do we got here? Yeah. Yo. Uh, edit mode? Ah. So, I have, once again, I must repeat that I need very little experience in 3D, so, yeah. Here we are. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna see for the filters. All right. Is that better? Am I am I clearer now? I think it is. I mean, the bar is now in the yellow, so. Alright, awesome. What some filters can do, right? Yeah, I was experimenting with some, uh, some of the filters to get the uh, tapping of the keyboard out of it. Um, so yeah, I guess I... Uh, did a little bit too much. But yeah. Yeah, those filters, huh? They're good stuff, but they're hard to understand. Alright. Let's see. How the hell am I going to do this? I suppose... Hmm. I'm going to guess the easiest way is to just build it and go with the flow. I don't know, we'll see. Let's it's not it. I'm just doing some basic shape right now to get an ID. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm, I don't need to be in this. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should just add a few extra cubes in here. Maybe that'll be easier. Render, um, add, oh yeah, right, add a cube, all right, 
And that is going to be the one up there, but first I've got to turn this one around. I can hear the 3D renderers scream in agony as they see how I'm doing this. Alright, we're starting right. <laughs> well, I don't really have much else to do, really. Any suggestions? Well, I am doing a stream on YouTube once in a while where I play Raft. Uh, that's one thing. A new video game. Well, I'm trying some Raft on uh, YouTube, so that's not on Twitch. I'm not so sure how that is going to end up. And of course the thing is that I'm trying to make a webcomic and I'm basically just sort of uh, showing the work process as I'm making it. Sort of uh, helps me keep motivated to work on it. Ooh. Well, I am using the 3D models to help me with uh, drawing perspectives uh, because this is going to become a gun like this one and if I was to draw the gun every time correctly I mean I could do an easy shape for it but I want it to, I want it to be correct so yeah <laughs> it is but like uh, let me just save this file Guns. Alright. And open. Like this one. This is the landing ship that I used in. Where is it? Um, yeah, in this page here. Over here. This is the spaceship. And I'm going to draw this spaceship a few times more in different positions and in order to have the perspective correct I made a 3D model to make a to help me out with it the same for uh, this little thingy this is like a flying scooter thing that I used in uh, the last pages where was it? Yeah. Up here. Like this little thing. That's the 3D model of it. And I use this pose and then I've got it in a few other poses like here and here and over here. So yeah. In order to not mess up the perspective and the, the size of it. I use a 3D model to help me out. It's uh, quite easier than to think about perspectives every time. It would be more efficient if I was able to do uh, a render with the cartoon lines on it. But I haven't learned how to do that yet. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a basic.
Yeah, okay. Can I deselect that? Hmm. I should be able to um merge it. Completely clear the parenting relationship. Is that it? No. Ah, crap. How did I do it last time? Hmm. Oh, well, let's just do it the old fashioned way. That's alright, that's the good distance. Okay, then I can ex wait, no, I have to extrude this one. about the same size with oh bit further and then hmm, what the hell Okay, that ought to do it for now. Then I should be able to extrude this one. Oh, that went a bit wrong. Okay. Uh, don't want it to go that way. See if I can move that. Okay. It needs to be round, however. It's going to end up down there and up there, so I better add another cube. Which is going to end up... Why is it like that? Come on. Okay, what is wrong here? Okay. What the hell? What am I selecting? Can't I just select the entire thing? Expected. Just up 
a little bit then I can move that one to the back which should be uh, should be fine around there hey mm, may want to add some extra wave to it to go look out there but this also has to be wider so I think I can bevel this kind of check it with this one here yeah that's the one nice awesome and I might also do that with this Okay, maybe not. Okay, we'll have to figure another way for that one. Um, maybe I should just have put a cylinder in there. Yeah, that might, that might actually be better. Uh, Does this work? Wasn't there like a select, select, select similar area? Hmm. Select similar. Hmm. Basement regions? Nope. Select. All by face by sense. Okay, no, that's not the one. Interior faces. Nope. Loose geometry. Nope, that's not it either. Okay, more. Select. Hmm. Oh wait, select linked. Right, okay. Alright, that's the one, select linked. Okay. Then I should be able to do this. Yeah. Alright. That's good, that's good. Um, and done. Oh, no. Just... Hmm. So I want to scale this. Where is that? Uh, scale. Hmm, do I... Okay. Oh crap, come on. Seriously? Control Z. Doesn't exist anymore? There. Oh crap. Oh man. Okay, so I need to select these two and these two. And if I scale... Yeah, okay, now it works.
Okay, that seems okay. What I plan to do. Alright. So select was it and then select uh ah oh crap what was it again linked yeah okay what was the key shortcut control l okay all right good so then we should delete this edges nope why, why is there no edit? Undo, control Z. Ah. Yeah. Uh, seriously, okay. Why didn't that. Oh, the face is right. Right. Then we have to select this. I think it was the button F. Then in for fill. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Add a cylinder. Alright. Going to this one. Rotate. Doesn't seem to be uh, control. No. Yeah, move it. Hmm. A little bit more to the side. Can I move it with the arrows? No, it's doing just a... Uh... Ah, there goes the science. Okay, let's just scale it down a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny little bit. Okay. And, and I should be able to... Ex it. I suppose I can extend it like that. Yeah, sure, why not? Not completely because I don't want. Okay. Okay. Let's add some extra stuff in the back as well. Uh, I would like to... Hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. Am I? Oh, wait. No, that's not going to give me any benefits. I need different things. I need to do this differently. Okay, first deselect. Why did that not work on that? Hmm. Right. So now that we have this line, I should be able to bend that as well. Yeah, let's just add a few more. Oh, 
once again there's probably a way better to do it Yeah, that's good. So let's then go to points. Now I think I'm gonna do this one. Select both of them and then subdivide them. Did that work? Okay, it worked. Good. Alright, good. And then this one, that one. Something like that, sure. It looks in there, so it needs to be smaller, I guess. That's the easiest way probably to just add a block. If I make this one smaller, this part. Hmm. What if I just do this? Oh, yeah, is there something useful? it at this rate uh, okay still got both of them okay Okay, now I should be able to pick. I need one more actually. Hmm. Unless. Hello there, page 878. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, today I'm trying to make. Uh, this one into a 3D render in Blender. Yeah, I'm good. Though I am having a little trouble. Mostly because I have no idea how Blender works yet. Well, we'll get there. Got some. Well, oh, I moved the wrong one. Crap. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works. All right. That's weak. All right. So basically, I'm just going to use this to draw some of the lines in it. quite rudimentary but you know it's just to help me guide my pencil 
when I'm drawing the gun in the gun in the comic. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but. Once that's we need a circle up here. I'm just gonna add a cylinder for that one. Cylinder. Okay. Rotate. Scale it down a little bit to this size, sure. Then we can move it around. Okay, where do I want it? Around there. Right. Okay, might want to extend it first. I'm looking at this sketch. Yeah. What happened? Did something. Hmm. Okay. Now I need to make this in a circle. Or I might just put lines in it. That's Probably easier. Why does it never do that? Hmm. Okay. Let's just go the old fashioned way then. It's a lot of lines that I have to make. So maybe it's easier if I just delete it and put another shape in its place like I did up here uh, well, maybe let's see what we can do add a cylinder okay gotta rotate it Okay, let's see, how far is this? Hmm, if that is going to end up there, then this needs to end up, start here. But it needs to end somewhere around there. Okay. Okay, and I should be able to do this here. Yes, alright, awesome. And then this. Alright. Now I need to make this. Oh shit, how do I do that? No no no, I need to select. Oh what? Okay, so it needs to go here. Alright, select. Are these designs going to be in the comic a lot? Well, this is going to become uh, a gun. One of the weapons that they are going to use in the comic. So yeah, it's probably going to be in it quite some times. 
and I'm also going to make a car that is also going to be used in the comic later on, especially in some specific scenes. So yeah, they're probably going to be used enough times in the comic to justify spending time on it now. Plus, you know, it's a 3D render, that's pretty awesome to have. Loop, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Yeah, it should be. I hope it is. Uh, okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Is it this? No. This one? Okay, this one then. No. This one? Okay, I need a combination of this and this. Alright, let's hope that it's going to help. Is this in the middle? Okay, it kind of looks in the middle. So let's go with this for now. Okay, so do I want it like that? Hmm. Hmm. Should I work from a square? If I start with a cube, I can cut it out, so that is uh, all of it. Yep. Okay, so I'll start with those corners. And there. The kind of music men hum or whistle when they do not stop the world. And I just need to cut it up, I think. And like that. Uh, select. Let's select this as well. That has to be a little bit in here, so okay. Wait, I can select loop, right? Uh, 
select loop right okay then this one doesn't matter and I should be able to delete delete faces all right then i have to put some extra lines in here okay That worked, cool. Alright. Now that should work. Ooh, alright. Okay. This is going to work. Nice. Alright, now I just have to make it uh, a bit more fancy. So let's start with lowering. What? Oh. Huh? Why is it selecting that? What? Why? Mm, okay. Then extrude this one. Not like that. This. Right, and then I should be able to... Take these and scale them on this axis. Okay. Yeah, cool. And then that one has to go... Have a talk. It can use a little bit more. Uh, nope. I need just one. this one because that's going to become oh wait shit um hmm. i'll see where it i'll see where it ends up no, let's see okay i suppose i can add it just like that or i can scale it up yeah, let's see. Okay, if that ends up here, then I need to change this. Hmm. And that has to go smaller as well. Okay, this just needs to be higher, okay. Hmm, why is this... What am I doing wrong here? Okay, I need to extend top then.
Okay, so if I move that up, it should be fine. Quite wanna. Okay, do I want to lower just this? Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, that didn't scale together with it, so I'll have to scale that as well. Just a dash. Alright. Oh, that works. Nice. Okay, so if I lower it now, it should be okay. Alright, good. Oh no. So now I just have to make this in a circle ish thing. And we'll see where it ends up. Oh wait, what happens if I. Okay, that's okay. It's not the best, but it'll do. It'll do. Okay. Then let's combine that with this. And if I lower it now, this should be fine up here right okay it's going to work all i have to do now is delete these faces faces all right and then lower this down here All right. Moving this up there. Mm, I'll keep it. Okay. So now I just have to add a little thingy up here and a thing up here. All right. Even though this could go a little bit slender, slimmer, scale the green axis. Mm, not the best. Not on bus duty today, so don't have to lurk for half an hour. <laughs> on bus duty. Oh, and uh, hello, Boon Paints. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't uh, realize it was you because you had the same color in the chat as the as page eight seven eight. <laughs> Was Judy? Is it one of those yellow buses? Bit more. Need to add one more cube now. All right, let's see. So this is going to become the handle. They both thing will help little children. Oh, cool. Hmm. I saw somebody once uh, turning one of those yellow buses into a. Mm -hmm. home 
like a motorhome. To travel on the road. Pretty cool. What they can do with that. Okay, let's see. Take this extended. To cut that. You know what, I'm just going to cut it up a little bit. Let's see if that's going to help me. With the construction. Okay, we're... okay this might go somewhere. Uh, that's as high as this, so that is... It's fine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Turning a corner and all of the glasses falling out of your cupboards. Yeah, that is a danger. I went on holiday once as a kid with a, on a, in a motorhome and... Uh, yeah, that was one of the things we had to keep in mind. So basically what we did was just uh, put everything in tight spaces so it wasn't able to move. It helps a little. So I don't think we actually broke much. I think we actually packed a lot of uh, cups and mugs that were allowed to break because they were so old and then we didn't break any of them which was then uh, kind of a disappointment hmm. I think I'm going to stick with this. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, that's what you do when you go on holiday, you know, you just prepare for the worst. So if something bad happens, it's not that bad. I think they also packed... Uh, those little iron campfire seats that you can unfold. Also cheap stuff that you could break easily or if it got lost there was no problem. And again, it didn't get lost and they are still uh, working functionally. Hmm. So I can use this one. Sure, let's keep it at this. How am I going to do this? That's one, two. Okay, let's select all of these. Oh wait, yeah, sure, I can select them. Then it's just gonna do it up here. Gotta do it with shift. Alright. 
suite. Quelle est bonne voter sur les... Ok. Oh, ok, à quel dédain. So if I select this one, I should be able to move it. Okay, gotta make sure that I stay as symmetrical as possible. Hmm. We'll keep this one as well. Okay, I need to subdivide this one. Subdivide. Did it work? Okay. Okay, so this goes down there. This needs to go a little higher. Oh, right. Okay, and then this goes up here. This go. These two go down. Just, just a notch. Is that right? No, that's not gonna work, so I need to make it... That's not what I want. Yeah, this needs to go up higher. And then this needs to go up as well. Right. Okay. Okay, if I want it like that, I need it to go this way and down. This one down. Okay. So now it should work if I delete these two. Delete the bases. All right. Now I just need to fill it up. Could I fill it up like that? Okay. Yes. Hmm. The program is smarter than I think. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Right. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now I just need to select this one. And do this. Alright, good. And I should be able to divide it. There, and then extrude that one, and basically turn that into the trigger. Yeah, and if I do this, that doesn't okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, hmm. What happens if I do this? Oh, something's happening. All right. 
Okay. That's cool. But it's more than fine. More than good enough. So basically now all I have to do is It has got to be selected for that. Select linked flat faces. Did that work? Okay, good. Um, select linked flat faces. All right. Oh. Okay, well, let's put it in and hope it works. A little bit more to the side. Okay, this is working surprisingly well. All right. So, can go a little bit more down, so I'll just have to extend up a little bit that. okay and all I did all right this is what well, this is smooth can I do that all right awesome Put that up like that. And then just put a circle in here. And we are done. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, over there, there's one millimeter. It's also over there. So what is... What is wrong? Oh, that's what's wrong. Okay. That's wide. That's not wide. Okay, so this is fine, but this is not fine. So I need to move this one to the side a little bit more. Okay, uh, let's scale that on the green thing. Oh my god. Alright. How was that not in the middle all of this time? Okay, this is looking good. Oh wait, I still have to add those things. All right, first do a circle here. Cylinder. No, wait, I have to do it. Okay. Okay, it can go a tiny little bit smaller. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know how to scale.
Okay, so it needs to be tap there. Okay, let's just first extend it completely. Put it in the right place first. Yeah, okay. And then I can put it properly like this. Okay, that'll do. Sure. Now I just have to add the extensions at the barrel. Okay, I just gotta make one of them, which should be easy. So let's just add a cube, send it to the front. Okay, uh, why is it not central? Sorry. Okay, all this bugger. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. All I have to do now is take this and uh, oh, move it like that. Okay, maybe not. Uh, extend it. Then move it. Okay. Lower it a little bit. Yeah. Boom. Place. Okay. That'll do. It's too thick. It needs to be smaller. So let's scale these down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do now is copy this. Duplicate. Hmm. Oh no, wait. Duplicate. No. Uh, how can I duplicate? Edit. 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 Render. Ah, uh, we are modeling sculpting. Texture shading, anime rendering, composition, scripting. Uh, add the mesh. Okay, what is this? Shear, shrink, smooth, rip, spin. Isn't there like a duplicate? All right, uh, enjoy your walk. <laughs> now I can always use a little bit of uh, exercise. Okay, it looks like I'm just gonna have to... How can I subdivide, extrude, so, drag, uns, no, split? How can I do that? Wait, do I have to be an object mode? No, that's not it. Edit mode. I feel like I'm missing something. I do believe there was something to duplicate it. OK. 
Okay, I have no idea where I'm now, but I'm not going to touch anything. <laughs> okay, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way then. Add a cube. Kinda scale it as best as I can, I suppose. Which is a terrible way to do it. Oh yeah, but I can do this. an exact copy of the little bugger here. Okay, it's not as needs to be scaled down just a hunch. gotta find out how to duplicate seriously there's no fucking way that it is possible that i cannot duplicate this is no way that's impossible there's gotta be a way Render. Edit. Here. No. Face extrude, insert, poke, bridge, triangulate faces. Rotate, okay. What's this? Add cube? No, oh, I... Oh, okay, that's cool. Didn't know you could do that. to Google here. How to do duplicate a cube in Shift D. All right. I needed to deep. Yeah, I have to be here. 
Shift D. Okay. And then rotate it on this axis. All right. All right. Nice. Now let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This needs to go a bit more up here. I could go a little bit more that way. Yeah, this is too... Yeah, well, again, it seems oddly shaped here. Okay. I can live with this. Same with this. Okay, I'll have to... This is fine. Okay. Got to add a few lines here. need to take this move that upwards backwards a little bit this one a little notch down up as well You know what? I think I can live with this. Yeah, and if we go to object mode, it is impossible to see. So I need to be in edit mode. With this and this. Alright, awesome. I feel we've got this. Kinda looks nice. Hmm. Wait, was that? Oh shit, I still need... This is not good. Alright, I need to adjust that. Okay. Can we just... Yeah. Then just select faces. This is okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Done. Well, first part of the day is done. We've got ourselves a weapon, which I now never have to think about perspectives about it anymore. And that's awesome. Now I can just show it like from the front, from the side, from the back, on the on the backpack. Yeah, hanging in the closet. Perfect. All right, safe. All right. Nice. So now I need to make a hand gun. Take this design, port this design, and turn it into a hand gun. So let's go to my files here. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it. Is it a props? 3D files? Yes. Guns. So I need to close this one first, I suppose. Quit. Alright. Uh, guns. 
copy paste Dum -dum -dum. first need to rename it to edit and all right and then i'll just change this render and turn it into handgun Which should be fairly easy, I guess. All I basically have to do is cut out a middle part here and take this. Okay, let's see what we can do here. First, we're gonna move this to here, lower it a little, a little bit. Going to delete this one and we're going to hmm. wait there was a select option select linked uh linked flat faces yeah we're going to move this back all right Moving that up is a good way to go. Feels a bit too... Yeah, this needs to be shorter. So I need to... Zip the control. Nope. Uh... How about we just Oh what was it again? Select loop There was something with a loop rings. Yeah. No not too much already. So I need to put this way. Select rings. Delete the edges. Alright, alright. Select loops. Delete edges. Alright. And then what you do to the front bit. Well right now I am going to turn this longer gun into a handgun because I kind of uh, wait did I open two files yeah so this is the rifle I suppose is the name got the little front thing finished and now that this is done I'm going to transform it into a handgun so this is going to this part is going to move to here together with this and this is going to go should be able to do just this way yeah that way i can keep a little bit of the original design well it's going to match a few of the colors i suppose no, 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 they are using the, well, the colors are going to match. The design might be different, but that would not be intentionally. That would be just because I can't keep a single design the same. So if the design is different, then that's just because I'm not good at my job. <laughs> but they are from the same company, the weapons, the ship, the car. The idea is it's all sponsored by one company. Where did this come from? OK, 
Okay, might have to turn this. Goes up here so a little bit more. And here's the fun part about 3D rendering. Once you've got one part done, it's easier to make the rest. Yeah. I do believe that the characters themselves are kind of rogue because they are a hired team of misfits. <laughs> Well, different characters, they are they don't usually work for the company of the big dude. And there's a reason why he hired uh he outsourced the stuff. But that is a reason that will be discovered later on in the story. Though knowing myself, whatever idea I have about it right now might change in the future. Because the story of Planet Sun 1 was also never truly fixed until I got to the ending. Eh, like contract workers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's missionaries. That seems like a little more of a religious thing. And they're not really there for that. Unless their religion is converting zombies into dead bodies. Then you, you know, suppose it, I suppose they could be missionaries. Missionaries of zombie zombification. Yeah. Oh wait, I can do that. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. What happens if we... Ooh, okay. Okay, I like this tool a little bit too much. What is that? Bevel. Ooh, I like Bevel. Mercenary. Yeah. <laughs> Mercenary, that's the word indeed. Oh, damn it. How did I just discover this now? Oh man, this bevel tool is awesome. Okay, what else do I need on this gun? Maybe I can add those slides. Oh wait, I can do that. I can add a little bit of extra. Just gonna make sure if it works. All right, good. That's not gonna work, but this should work. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if that is going to be visible in the render. The, let's see, object mode. That's a little bit visible. Not enough. Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's uh, a good gun. It feels like it's uh, there's too much weight at the front. There needs to be a little, a little bit more weight up here. Well, I suppose we can just say that there is a sort of a dense material in the pack, in the battery pack. Okay, turning this weapon into a handgun has been surprisingly easy. Surprisingly easy. Okay, I think that it's going to be it for this one as well. Uh, I have it saved as a handgun, so that should do it. Which means we've got another file done. Save it. Yes. So now I have a handgun, I have a rifle. That's about the guns that they are going to... Oh shit. Do I have, let's see, I've got a the Orbit Drone, a Tolos Landing Ship, the Flypad, the Guns, the Handgun, the Intergalaxy Soul Ship. What the fuck is that? Oh, right, right. Uh, I need to rename my files. A mercenary ship. Oh yeah, okay, that one. Blackbird's ship. Why is it? Ah, good old blackbird ship. Hmm. Alright, what else? What else do we got? Got the random ship with no purpose. Oh yeah, right. And then we got a meeting room. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, that one. Okay, so basically what I still need is... I still need the... Then you uh, can see sword guns. Let me see if I can... Yeah, this one. I need to turn this one into a 3D render as well. Because these are... Kinda... Yeah. Critical to... The Planet Zon storyline. I mean, not critical, but... They do link a lot of it together. This one. Yeah, hmm. without spoiling too much. Okay, can I? Uh, okay, how to add an image? Image background. Okay. Uh, just gonna move that here as I search through my files. Kind of song. Ten. Points, props, Tenshi sword gun, PNG. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Would have been better if I. Okay. So let's do this. I need to be on the green line. Okay. So if I add the 
image background then she saw it gun okay well where is it didn't I just add it daddy what okay all right i guess it's only visible in this perspective then all right uh, okay let's see if we can work this way edit mode so if i do this will it do only one side yeah so that's no good going to do this how the fuck am I going to do this I need to add it in 3d okay um all right okay let's just Okay, let's delete this. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Add image reference. Okay, what if I do that? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so it's here, all right. I need to rotate this now. Oh man, this is... This is silly. All right. Okay, now I need to rotate it on this one. Okay. Alright, now it should be fine. Okay. Now I should be able to work a little bit with it, I hope. Alright. Let's get going. Edit mode. Okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, let's just uh, get going, I suppose. Is that supposed to be on the same level? Yes, okay. So we'll start here. Select that side, extend it. All right. This side and move it up. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Turning it in 3D. All right, that's cool. I 
Okay, why is this so exciting? <laughs> Okay. Now I know I can use pedal now, so no, not this way. I need to just select this. Okay, no, that's not correct. Let's start easy. Okay. And then let's do the same up here. I think that'll work. Right. Okay, how is this? All right, good. Hey, this is cool. This is working. Awesome. Um, Alright, there's one issue that I have now. And that is I can't see the image. Right. I'll have to duplicate it, right? Oh yeah, that was... What was it again? Shifty? Alright. So we'll move this one. And then select all of these. All of these. This. this. Alright, and if I move it, it should work. Alright. Good. All right. This is going surprisingly well. Did I get that one as well? Okay. What is this? There's something down there, but... Okay. Then... Okay, now I need to scale this down. Okay. Oh, no. I need to move it. Just move it. Alright. And now I've got to bevel this as well. Let's see if we can do it. Hmm. I suppose I can. It can work. Sure, that'll do. Okay. Uh, I'll move it. Shift it. Ok, 
Okay, this doesn't seem right, so we'll have to... Uh, select these. And this. And move them a tiny little bit. So that they equal... What? What? Okay. Still not good enough. Okay, okay. This works. To what new horizons can we look now? Hmm. Where are tomorrow's opportunities? The frontiers of the future are not on any map. But now, what's ahead of us? Okay, may have to extend this one. Bit more to the front, and these a little bit more to the back. Ay. Watch out, watch out kindly. Wait, do we have to... That'll be fun. Alright. Let's see how it ends up now. It's good. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. We're catching a lot. I thought it would be perfect. <laughs> catching a lot of what? Okay, I need to put a circle in. Wait, do I have circles? Sphere. Let's. Oh, wait, I don't have to load it. I have to scale it. And a little bit more. Then we'll have to rotate it. I feel like I started off on the wrong with, with this one. Okay. Invisible details. Okay, so you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, of course. Uh, if you're working on it, you already 
you see everything in your mind's eye that you want to put into it. And it's quite hard to see that if you don't work on it, if you don't know it. Well, you know, if this is uh, the weapon that I'm making now, is a weapon that I have worked on many, many times before. You could kind of say it's like a little baby of mine. Right, just got to cut off corners a little bit here. Just All right, now it's not poking out here anymore. Oh, but it is poking out at the bottom. Let's move it up a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. It's good. Uh, what now? This here. That's a cylinder. What did? Oh wait, uh... Just go this way, so I can go as close as possible to the reference. Alright. Okay, let's first extend this one a tiny little bit back here I think I can do it this way And let's see how that looks. <laughs> hmm, not as cool as I imagined it was. Also, it's not central. Centered. What is happening here? Oh, okay. Need to do this and this, and now I can do this. All right. Okay, it's so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, one thumb on this side, one thumb on that side. Suppose I can make that one a little bit bigger. And then move it up a tiny little bit. Yeah. 
yeah, that'll work. Alright, next up, this little thingy. Mm. How, am I, how am I going to make that? Okay, I've got to remember that I do have the power of bevel, so... Okay, uh, let's see, that one goes up there, should be able to put this one down here, okay, so what do I need, uh, I need to make this shape as well, so basically I need to, uh, Guess I have to build this. That's my solution now for everything. Okay. I think let's see if we can work with this. Okay, if we take this plate we'll move this one down put that up here and then it's okay that goes down there and up a little bit then I just need to divide this Subdivide it and move this one down a little bit. And oh yeah, I can just subdivide this as well. And then if I bevel this, it should work. The magic should work. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay. It seems okay. Now I just gotta... Make these two and scale them down on the green axis. Okay. How wide do I want it to be? Um, needs to be a bit wider. I don't know, maybe as wide as the gun? The barrel? Yeah, well, fuck it, tilt it. Now I just gotta put it centered. Gonna do one thumb up. There, that seems to be the center. Alright. Go to this side, zoom out. Okay. Shift the oh crap. Wait, can I flip this the other side? The other other side? Okay, rotate. Did that work? Uh, it looks like I only copied those sides. The hell? Of course. Deep sucht. Copy completely. Alright. That's why I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. All right. It worked. Mm. 
Now we just gotta put it in place up here. It should be. Hmm, all right, that'll do. Okay, so we got this, we got this, we got that. Now we just need this, this, that. Yeah, just a few more pieces of the puzzle. And we're done. Yeah, so that is going to be up there. Cube. Is it centered? No, it's not centered. All right. Okay, how am I going to do this? How about we take half a square? Same here. Let's see. Let's case distance. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, is it? Uh, well, it looks centered, but it doesn't feel centered. Oh well. Okay. Then let's do the magic of battle again. Extend it, select it completely, and then put it up there. Oh, it looks like it has to go a little bit further. Hmm. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah. Hmm. Get a little bit more to the side. I think. I don't know. Hmm. It's hard to tell this way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gonna. So many cubes to add. I wonder if this is the normal way of doing it in Blender. Or if you shouldn't add this much. Wait, if I put that up there, let's take basic line, right, and then I need to subdivide this one, right, so I can select this, and then I should be able to make this move, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, it shouldn't be this wide. It definitely should not be at this distance. I can scale it down, of course. You get a tiny little bit thinner. And I feel like I should <laughs> bevel it as well. Hmm. And that's that. That's that, but it's not all by any means. Hmm. Yeah, and then select this. Alright, what was the plan again? Oh yeah. I was gonna scale it. Hope it works. Alright, that seems to be working. Oh, no, no, no. No, still need to select. It seems to be going well. Good. Alright. Let's see. So we got the trigger. Now I still need this one. This one and this one. One, two, three, four. Alright. Four more cubes. No, wait. There's more. There needs to be over here. Something up here as well. Oh yeah, those lines, right. Okay, well, let's start with this one in the middle first. Alright. Once again... Put it in the center, and I f oh, this little baby is not in the center. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, let's move this to the side. Okay, how the fuck am I going to do this? What if I move that up there and then just extrude a few times? Suppose that could work. Alright, and then I just move it. Sort of like that, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't feel... We'll have to see how it works out. For now, it seems to be working.
Okay, this seems to be working better than expected. Alright, just gotta move this to there and this to here. And then we can extrude this one as well again. There. No, that went wrong. Okay. Quite well. Just gotta see. Oh, yeah, the circle. Okay. So, how about. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be too much detail for it. So, I'm not gonna add. Those details. <laughs> yeah, I could make it less blocky even. But I feel like I don't necessarily need it. Because I'm gonna draw it in these in this size anyway, so then again if I want a high resolution image. I'm surprised I got this far. If I see where I started uh, with the first models that I made. Great, I'm adding too much detail again. Okay. Cylinder. Right. Great. Hmm, that seems to be proper. Everything. All right. So now it's, the handle is going to be difficult, I think. But you know, I'll just keep going, <laughs> and we'll get there in the end. Let's see. 
And we'll just have to see where we end out, end up. And let's see, we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five total. So can I define one, two, three? Yeah, that should work. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I need to divide those up as well. Because these guys need to go in. Right. Right. Okay, this one needs to go up a little bit. How's this one? Oh shit. Um Alright, alright, I didn't think I forgot that the handle is smaller. Like I forgot that this is on the side of the handle, so the handle should be smaller than this. But I didn't render it this way, so hmm. I'm gonna have to see how I fixed it in a few moments. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm, okay. Just move that. There. That's a lot of manual override that I'm doing on the bevels here. Okay. So now how am I gonna do that? Let's just I'm going to select that one. Okay. I might have to... Move them mostly individually. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. smooth 
Let's hope it works smoothly with this. Okay, first we're gonna do a little test. Okay, it starts failing when I go too far, so maybe I have to select these as well. So we'll see if that helps. Alright. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, then we'll just not gonna extend it too far. Unless, of course, I can move these. And that should not be a problem. Move them. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. So all right this might work out anyway so i'm gonna take the punch and select everything immediately hoping that my confidence is okay is justified. All right, it is. All right, good. And I should be able to do this here as well. Okay. Okay, I don't like it. Alright, that's better. And now I first have to center it again. Because that seems to be an issue that I have constantly. should find a way to make this work. First of all, let's move this back again and up. Okay, let's see what happens if I scale it. Well, I suppose that could work. It's not perfect yet. Hmm. I like the idea of scaling it, but I want to scale it in with only so that's just gonna take uh, I don't have to do it to select this one just have to select these I guess I don't have to scale them, I just have to move them, really. Yeah, so I can select that one as well, so, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, how am I gonna move it? Yeah, let's move it. Okay, do we got everything? Right? No. Okay, that is a pinky ish. Yeah, okay. Let's see how too much I have scaled it. Hmm, not enough apparently. Alright. So let's scale these. Okay, that seems to be good. Now I just need to scale this one maybe down a little bit. Or maybe I can move these lines to the side. Maybe just a pixel. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. We have to overwork ourselves here. This will do just fine. No way, there's still one visible. Okay. It's not visible on this line. Oh, wait, it is. Okay, good. Now I just have to add the bottom line here, the bottom cube, and then three more lines up here, and it's done soon. This shouldn't be too hard. This is basically what I've been doing all this time so far, so... That shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Oh, no, that's not. Let's see. Right. Alright, move that up there, and if I bevel this, <laughs> the magic bevel move, this should turn out fanciful. Yeah. Yep. too much okay all right 
here then select look I think ring no that's not what I needed um select loop okay what happens if I do this all right that's good Hmm. Okay. So basically, I can just select the side and then bevel it. Uh, right. That's good. That's good. Uh. Oh, let's just select this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I might have to zoom in on this one. Okay. Uh, can I scale it? No, if I scale it, I just have to move it. So let's move it then to the side of this. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, that should do the trick. All I have to do now is center it, of course, as usual. Wait, no, it is centered. Then Hmm, okay. Mm hmm. Seems a bit weird. Okay, and then I just have to add. I feel like I have to bevel this one as well. This, this needs like a bevel as well. Yeah. Like a tiny one, not too crazy, just a tiny one. That's too much. Yeah, same for here. Uh, I need to scale it on the Okay, what if I wrote it? Hmm. How about we just move it? Not just one, but entire circle. I may have to do that again, the circle. Okay. First, gotta make sure I've got everything selected. Okay. Yikes. What's this? Right. Okay, looks like I don't have everything selected.
what is what is hanging what is what are these lights here there this is what is this All of it. Okay, it's not this. It's not this. Also not that. Now what the hell is happening? What are those lines? Hmm, that's uh, curious, curious. Um, okay. If I go to object mode, I should be able to move it. Alright. Let's go back to edit mode now and then just make these yeah let's do it this way i think that might turn out okay yeah scale it down Even more. Okay. All right, scale it down a tiny little bit more. Okay. Now we're good. Hmm? Okay. So let's see what happens if we do this. That's not what I want. I feel like there's also, once again, probably a better way of doing this, but... Hmm. Select loop ring. the one that's what we need now i just gotta copy this three more times make sure that i know this layer right boom perfect awesome and then i can probably do it like this yeah, okay. 
Not like that though, we need to be on the C axis, yes. You know, let's do it this way. Alright. Awesome. Now we are working. Okay, let's go back to object mode. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I can do this in edit. <laughs> yeah, F indeed. Like, it'll work out. Okay, that's the center. Up. Let's see if it is sort of similar. Hmm. A little bit more to the front. Okay, is it on the same line here? Maybe a little bit more up. Yeah. On the y-axis, not going to see anything. Alright, so this should be it. Alright, got the lines, got this one, we've got this the thingy, the trigger, the holster, uh, this. I suppose I could add a little detail here as well. It's not gonna have a barrel because it's not shooting bullets, it's electromagnetic stuff. I do feel like I should add something. Just don't know what. You know what? Doesn't matter. Let's go to object mode. Delete this one. And now, oh. Alright. I think I've got it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I have to still edit. What? Is it all there? Oh, okay. I have to select it before I can edit it. Duh. Okay, I'm gonna delete this circle. Add a new one. Yeah, I think I might have, maybe I should have gone with a circle in the start. Okay, I gotta make sure that it is in the center. Hey, how am I gonna... Now, turn this into... Hmm. 
that I see and then just delete those I guess that would be the easiest way not the most elegant way but well you know here for elegance, I am here for getting it done. I can hear the 3D render people screaming in the background. Like, no, what are you doing? Oops. Right. Okay. Now it should be done. Be done in a bit under three hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, the second one was a little bit cheating because I just altered the one that I had already made. So yeah. I am happy that I got this one. <laughs> Counts, okay. Alright. Mm, this might have to be a little bit more to the front. Seems to be done. File save as uh what's it called? Uh and she sort. Save it. Alright. Nice. Nice. <laughs> This is kind of cool. Alright. Damn. Okay. Alright. Oh man, I'm, one day I'm gonna have to learn how to texture and uh yeah texture render it and all that kind of stuff yeah that would be cool i might have to check out some uh, i might have to check out some uh, tutorials on uh, youtube and uh get better at it because this is kind of nice building 3d objects and then just yeah all right uh, save. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Then I think. Uh, let me just check. You know what? I am got no. Yeah, I've got nobody here that I know of that I can send you to. Uh, so yeah, just gonna bid you adieu. Uh, let's see, I've 
got one more stream on this Saturday, I think. For this week, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to stream on Mondays. Next week, so yeah, that's going to be a no-go next Monday. Not sure about the rest of next week. Might have to check my schedule for that. It's going to be a busy week next week, so I'm not sure how many times I'm going to be able to stream. Uh, but yeah, this Saturday is definitely going to be some work on planning some of the actual comic and not just the rendering of the files and the sketching. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, thank you for the uh, uh, motivational speeches. <laughs> And uh, hope to see you next time then. So uh, good night, good evening, and uh, good day if you are from America. So yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need that rest. <laughs> see ya.